Bad. And uh, number 10, High Spirits. So Dr. Watson and Ryan Elliott to come in, a big moment for him. Clarify and Sean Mackay to come in as well. Only pretty hard to get past here, Clarify. Show McCool stands up for Sam Spratt. So these last horses now, Clarify and St. Kitt goes in for Tony Allen, Melbourne Cup winning rider. Ready. Are you ready, the crowd? Just holding them there. Bit of movement. High spirits, I think it is. Now he's happy. Racing in the Wattlesville Estate, Castle Town, Wellington Cup over the 3,200 metres. Now Magic Chai went back early in the uh, run here, beginning quickly as High Lad. It is the leader to Thorn Pass, and uh, then we have over on the inside Princess Dylan. Patrick Aaron is nice and handy. Samson Clarify and Show McCool are all coming forward around the outside of them. Then we have Dr. Watson. Blathwaite back over on the rail. Model A is following that through. Then over on the outside, Alinko Prince. Then St. Kit inside of Sylvester High Spirits. Magic Chai is back and Alfie D is back with it as well as they're about to gallop up into the straight entrance on their first occasion and Samson is the leader. Samson shows out for Trudy Thornton. Over on the outside, Clarify. Princess Dylan and High Lad as they button it right off here as they come down past us now with uh, just over a circuit to make and then we have Patrick here and he's just inclined to pull pretty hard on the inside here for Chris Johnson and then we have over on the outside side of that then a show McCool let her rip Wellington show them you're here as they come down past us now with a second to make wonderful it is Samson the leader shows out high lad second princess Dylan is third and clarify four then we've got uh, show McCool Patrick Aaron against the inside he may have settled marginally better but not a hell of a lot thorn pass behind these runners then a Linko Prince uh, Dr. Watson the outside Saint Kit the inside pace is moderate only Model A behind them, Sylvester and Magic Chai, it's inside from High Spirits and uh, at the 1600 metres, halfway in the cup, Alfie D is the last one to the back of the track and uh, Samson calls the shot to take the pace from High Lad second. Princess Dylan, now here they come. Show McCall not happy with that pace, so whips up and around them, Sam Spratt, back and behind them, clarify. Patrick Aaron a little more settled now. Alinko Prince just getting their head up a bit alongside of that. They are followed through then by Thorn Pass over on the inside as they go to the 1,200 metres in the cup. Then we have St. Kitt. High spirits improving. Dr. Watson, Model A, behind the Magic Chai to Sylvester. And Alfie D was last as they pack up a little now. They've got 1,000 metres to go. And Show McCool a half to Samson. Alinko Prince right on them, Princess Dylan. High Spirits has become prominent to High Lad. Patrick Aaron over on the inside of Clarify. Thorn Pass and St. Kitt at the 800 metres. They are the next, and they're followed around then by Magic Chai, who's off the fence. Dr. Watson and Sylvester behind those, and Alfie D is the last one. Nearing towards the corner, and Alinko Prince has pulled its way up on the outside. High Spirits comes after it. Samson trying to fight on on the inside. Patrick Heron is uh, riding him against the inside. Princess Dylan with those, and then High Lad as they run to the 350 metres in the cup here. And we've got hitting the lead here, Alinko Prince. Samson the inside. Patrick Aaron's trying to wind up under the big weight on the fence, and Magic Chai from a long way back. Samson's defying them. He is Magic Chai. It's chiming in with a run the outside. Magic Chai and Michael McNabb storm past them, and it'll win the cup and win it brilliantly. Samson Alinko Prince, Patrick Aaron behind them has been High Spirits, then we had Princess Dylan, High Lad Clarify, Model A, Alfie D, St. Kitt and Dr. Watson, Thorn Pass, then Sylvester and Show McCall, the last of them. Tony Pike and Michael McNabb have taken out the Wallaceville Estate, Castletown, Wellington Cup. And this is a ride he will never forget. He got back last, he was all back with the tail enders. Off the rail across the top, presented. Samson fighting them all off from Alinko Prince, but Magic Chai has won 
and won really well with a barnstorming finish. Just start number 18 today, win number five, and what a way to do it. Perfectly uh, presented here by Tony Pike, and this horse really hit the line strongly. Ran the two miles out as well as you'd want. Samson fighting hard, Alinko Prince, Patrick Aaron behind these, but this was uh, with a sense of timing. He came home and uh, got them very well. All right, uh, Emily Boston around to the uh, back straight there with uh, Michael McNabb, and boy, this was a gorgeous ride. It sure was a, a beautiful ride, Nava. You, you got back, but this horse is quite exciting, isn't he? The way to come home like that, pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, Leif told me about him before, and they said he staggered out. Geez, I nearly come off him when he staggered out. <laughs> he done it that big, but look, he got back on a real slow tempo. We were crawling the first part. Um, they sort of increased, and I got lovely drag into it. Come to the turn. I was going pretty good, and, and the more I asked of him, the more he kept going. So, a uh, big buzz to win a Wellington Cup. Dad didn't win one, and I almost won it last year, and he was a bit dirty on me. This race, it has a real meaning to people, doesn't it? And uh, as you said, it's just a big thrill. Oh, 100%. Look, I spent my whole life growing up with Troy Harris, and his dad won three. Wellington Cup's always been a big thing to us as we were kids, so... Nah, it's a real big buzz. Onwards uh, with this horse. I mean, that's his first try over that distance today, so you'd have to be thinking uh, of pushing on forward towards Auckland. He's going to be hard to beat. Oh, hey, that's his first go, as you said, and he was going really strong at the line, so uh, he's got a lot in front of him, this bloke, and the staying, staying sort of ranks. So it's really good, and it's really good to ride on for Pike. He's a real big supporter of mine, and um, I've got a big team behind me, which is supports me um, uh, really good well done thanks him michael mcnab and we can tell you that the next from randwick is now gone to trackside two so we can take in the aftermath here on trackside one let's uh, 